Good morning and welcome to the live news breakfast bulletin. On Thursday, the South African Human Rights Commission said that South Africa must speak out against homophobic Ugandan legislation that will allow for repeat homosexual offenders to be jailed for life. The Commission welcomed the South African government's resolution to research international methods of protecting the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual and intersex communities. Members of Parliament on Thursday gave the green light to a bill which will see tougher new measures governing credit providers. The National Credit Amendment Bill will provide a uniform risk assessment process for credit providers to curb reckless lending practices. President Jacob Zuma said on Thursday that amendments to two laws are set to change the face of print media. Zuma said that while transformation was taking root in the broadcasting news arena, the print media sector was still lagging behind with respect to transformation. He further stated that in 2011, only an average of 14% of ownership of the mainstream print media was in black hands, and that female participation in board and senior management was limited to only 4%. Suspended Kosato General Secretary Zuelinzima Vavi and his lawyers will dispute and question the forensic audit report which assisted in his suspension. The audit found that Vavi did not act suitably regarding the sale of the Congress of South African Trade Union's headquarters. Vavi's lawyers, however, allege auditors compile the report without taking his side of the story into account. A body of a man was recovered and seven men were rescued after a boat ran aground at Betty's Bay, the National Sea Rescue Institute said on Thursday. A crew, the crew reportedly jumped out of the boat and onto rocks, where one of the men may have hit his head. However, the cause of the man's death is still unknown. Stay tuned for more live news updates. <laughs>